And if you get shocked, you fall off the ladder, you break your neck, you're done. Welcome back to Herbomatic. Today, let's do a review of these Klein Breaker Finders. It's the ET300 set. This thing's amazing. It's 38 bucks from Home Depot for what you see here. And I highly recommend you pick up the accessory kit. The accessory kit is 16 bucks. I recommend picking up the whole shebang. And today we're gonna go over how to use this and how it makes your life easier. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is unbox this uh, little accessory kit. And it's, it's in this stuff that you can't get into. So we get to use a razor blade and potentially ruin our brand new tools. It's great. Don't cut towards yourself like I just did. I was just showing you what not to do. Okay, in the little accessory kit is what you get. So this is your transmitter. This is your receiver, as it says on both of them right there and right there. This is a little adapter for bare wires. Here's an adapter in case you have a two prong outlet. And uh, here is a light adapter. Let's talk about how you use these out in the field. Okay, let's talk about the first use case. Say you wanna change this outlet because it's cracked or it's old or you're changing colors or whatever, it's got paint on it. Traditionally what you'd do is you'd plug a radio into it and go out to the breaker box and flip breakers until the radio got quiet. But what if you can't hear the radio from where you are and you gotta wake up your neighbors and anybody else that's in the house or office or wherever you're working. Or you can have somebody in here with something plugged in and you can have them on the phone. Alternatively, you just take the transmitter, you plug it in. So once you have the transmitter plugged in, you just go out to the breaker panel. Let's go out there. Okay, here's our breaker panel. Let's pop that open. You know, sometimes the breakers are labeled, sometimes they're not, sometimes it's too vague. You know, traditionally what you do is you, you flip a breaker and you go, is that it? You know, and you yell to somebody in the house or worse, you're by yourself and you gotta wander in there, flipping one breaker at a time, trying to figure it out, you know? And that's no good because you gotta set the clocks on everything. And who knows how to do that? You just never have the time again. So a better operation is, remember we plugged in our transmitter. So we're gonna take out our receiver Okay, so all we're going to do now is take our receiver, turn it on, and we're just going to scan the panel. And it's going to go off a lot at first. So you have to do is scan the whole panel like this. Okay, once you've done the whole thing, start at the beginning again. And you're going to get an arrow on the breaker that it is. So there it is. See the green arrow light up and the noise? So let's go ahead and turn that one off. Now let's reinitialize it. Go over our panel. We should not get a reaction because we've powered down our transmitter, right? Our transmitter is plugged into this. We get the right one, powers it down, not gonna work. So that initial scan is to calibrate the, the receiver from all the noise of the panel. And then the second scan is where you're gonna pick up your breaker and flip it off. It's that easy. It's way better than yelling at someone in the house. All right, let's go inside and make sure we got the right one. Coming back into the kitchen, we can see that the little red light on the transmitter is off right here. That's off. We can also stick a multimeter in there and verify, but that is the right one. So let's show the other use cases of this. That's the most simple where you just plug it right into an outlet. Okay, let's say you got this light fixture and you want to change it out because it's dated as hell. All we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off, remove one of the bulbs. We're gonna screw in our little adapter that came with the kit. Then we're gonna plug our transmitter into that. Now you gotta turn the light back on. Okay, our transmitter's on, see the little red light. Now let's go out to the breaker box and we can do the same thing. Okay, you can call your spouse. You know, every time you got an electrical project and yell at her, you get her on the phone and ask her to yell at you and tell you which one it is. Or you can pull out your little receiver here. Again, we're gonna turn it on by hitting the little button on the side. And we're just gonna go down the whole panel. Okay, we've done the whole thing. Now let's start again.
Okay, we've got our little green arrow. Let's turn this off. Hit our thing. Let's check again. Okay, we're not getting any response from the panel anymore. So we got the right one. So we can see that our light fixture's off and our little transmitter light's off. So we got the right breaker. We can take a multimeter and double check before we take it apart, but we're good. Okay, so this is the last piece in the set. This is where you connect to bare wires and then find the breaker, and we'll demonstrate that. All right, let's start with our first smoke detector here. First step we wanna do is we wanna get that power shut off. So we're gonna use our kit. Let's undo this neutral one. Don't touch the hot at all. Careful not to touch these wires. So if you need to figure out which breaker a circuit like this is on, and um, it doesn't have a, an outlet, use this little adapter. And this, and this is the little accessory kit that you can buy with the breaker finder. Let's go ahead and hook our hot up here. Just like that. Careful not to touch anything metal. And then we'll just plug our little transmitter right in there. We can see our transmitter light is red. So we'll go ahead and just let that hang. Here's our transmitter hanging down. Let's take our receiver and go out to the breaker panel. And let's go down our breaker panel. We gotta scan the whole thing first. And we start from the top. It looks like we're signaling on this one. Let's go ahead and shut that off. Looks like we're getting nothing. So, looks like this one was the smoke detectors. And we can see that our transmitter light is off, so we're good to continue. See that trick right there? You see what that thing just did? The little cover slipped off of that. And if that's live, it can get knocked out pretty good. So let's go ahead and take our multimeter. That's pretty bad, they, shouldn't, they should have done something to stop that. You see, see how that thing slipped down? How fun would that be if that was live? And you can only find the circuit breaker if it's live, so. Okay, let's check. It's a dead circuit, so we know we're okay. Look at this little stupid cover sliding off of there. I don't really like that. Be careful of that, guys. Jeez, that could be a real bad thing. And if you get shocked, you fall off the ladder, you break your neck, you're done. A little pro tip on using this set. This damn switch goes off all the time in your bag. Like that, and it drive you nuts and kill the battery in your breaker finder. So a good solution for that is, turn it off by holding down the button and wrap a bread tie around that switch. That stupid thing will go off all the time if you don't. So you're just gonna put that around there. And now, when it's in your bag, it's not gonna go off all the damn time. That's the Klein Tools breaker finder, it's amazing. Wonderful set, you guys. Pick one up for yourself instead of running back and forth, flipping off all the wrong breakers. God forbid you hit a breaker that runs one of these clocks. Who knows how to set these? You'll never set it again. Look at this. I mean, 